And our team coverage continues in Harrisburg now with WGL News 8's Amber Gerard, who's checking in with PennDOT. Amber, what kind of preparation is going on out there before the storm? Well, with that snow likely to hit the Susquehanna Valley tomorrow, PennDOT has issued a number of road restrictions that will go into effect tomorrow noon on select highways. Starting at noon, commercial vehicles, including empty box trucks, empty tractor trailers, and any pickup truck or SUV towing a trailer, recreation vehicle, and motorcycles. Depending on changing conditions, reduction in speed limits might be implemented as well. Now, those restrictions will affect the highways highlighted in the red on the map on your screen in the Susquehanna Valley. That includes both directions along Interstate 83, 81, and 78. There will also be restrictions on I-70 from the Maryland line to New Station. The last time that we did all these tier restrictions and we did vehicle speed restrictions, things like that, the storm really didn't amount to a whole lot around here. And I think people are kind of like, well, you said that the last time and nothing happened. So the problem is at PennDOT, you have to always prepare for the unexpected. You have to prepare for the worst case scenario. Fritchie says there will be about 500 trucks actively patrolling and on standby. In Dauphin County, Amber Gerard, WGAL News 8. All right, thank you, Amber. And if you're hitting the roads tomorrow, you may see snow plows. And PennDOT says there are some things to know so you can drive safely. PennDOT says you should stay at least six car lengths behind a plow. And most importantly, don't pass them. That's because the plow is wider than the truck. If you see a plow truck coming toward you on a two-lane road, move as far away from the center as safely safely possible. And last, you also want to make sure you don't drive next to a plow truck. That's because those trucks have blind spots. And last winter, PennDOT says careless or aggressive driving on snowy, slushy and icy roads caused 151 crashes. Those crashes killed three people and injured 81 others. And while PennDOT urges you to not go out during the storm, if you have to, there are some things the department says you should have on hand. PennDOT recommends making an emergency travel kit, and you want to make sure to pack it with bottled water and non-perishable food. You should also make sure there's a flashlight and batteries, jumper cables, a cell phone, and a charger in there, along with a snow shovel, sand, first aid supplies, extra warm clothing, and of course, a blanket. And when you're not on air, or when we're not on air, you can count on News 8 to bring you the latest. When it comes to winter weather watches, warnings, closings, forecast, and safety information, you can visit our website and News 8 smartphone app for updates. And on Monday morning, News 8 Today will start a half hour earlier at 4 a.m. so our crews can bring you the latest conditions.